Now, after a wave of mega mergers over the last couple of years, though, deal making is taking a breather. There's been only $8 billion of media deals this year, down from $127 billion in 2019. And there have been 93 deals this year, down from a peak of nearly 506, uh, 506 years ago, according to PitchBook. Now, the media giants are busy integrating their acquisitions. Disney of Fox, Comcast of Sky, and AT&T of Time Warner, and Viacom of CBS. And figuring out which parts of those companies don't fit, such as AT&T looking to sell Warner Brothers' video game division in Viacom, CBS's Simon & Schuster publisher. Now, Craig Moffitt says that in the telecom and cable space, it's too late for any deals to get the FCC and DOJ's approval before the election. Now, when deals do pick up again, Michael Nathanson says it makes sense that smaller players like AMC Networks or Lionsgate would seek a buyer, but that there's not much interest right now. Now, we have been through rapid industry consolidation and there are a few pieces left. I think that would change if NBC Universal and Warner Media are ever spun out. Rosenblatt's Bernie McTurnan says that Discovery is the most interesting player because, quote, their library of content is largely unencumbered by deals and could be a so they could be a plug and play for another uh, another streaming service. Um, now, what's very interesting right now is that there's also this other factor to watch of whether an Apple or a Netflix, which certainly have the resources, could look to buy a studio to bulk up their libraries.